I'm just about to reveal how uploading stock footage can still be a profitable side hustle even in 2022, so let's get started. The first website I want you to head over to is called Shutterstock.com, and this is a place where you can find millions of pictures on any topic you search for. Let's just say I was looking for some sort of spring landscape, right? Let's keep it simple. Well, if I hit enter, I'm gonna find over 7 million different photos that match my search. And as you can see, some of them look really cool. But here's the thing about it. If you want to download these pictures on your device, it is not free. You do have a free trial, so you can download a few of them without paying. But after that, you will have to pay a monthly subscription to continue using their services. Guys, don't worry about it. We are not going to pay this subscription. That's not what the video is all about. But stick with me for a second because it's gonna be worth it. You see, if you're a regular user who's looking to download pictures from Shutterstock or a similar website you would have to pay about 30 euro per month you can also get videos music and editorial content but let's not get sidetracked now some of you might be wondering why would people pay for downloading pictures are they stupid can they just search for them on google and that is a legitimate question but we need to dive a little bit deeper to understand the answer let me repeat that search on google this time and as you can see we can find a bunch of high quality pictures some of them are even better than the ones we got on shutterstock the only difference is that when it comes to these pictures on google this may actually be subject to copyright and that is the major drawback you see copyright is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the exclusive right to copy distribute adapt display and perform a creative work in other words you are not allowed to reuse the content unless you have the permission from the original content creator and that's why all of these platforms such as iStockphoto.com or Shutterstock will come in handy and let me show you guys a clear use for this kind of videos and pictures let's just say that i wanted to make my video videos a little bit more engaging by adding a little bit of stock footage every now and again. Well, in order to make sure that I'm on the safe side and my channel will not get demonetized or it will not get some sort of copyright strike and get deleted, I need to make sure that all the content I'm using is copyright free. I need to have the license to reuse it. And if you just download a random picture from the internet, you don't have the license. So it basically puts you in a very dangerous spot, especially if you really care about the YouTube channel. And that is also true for any other kind of advertising materials and so on and so forth. Now, truth be told, there are websites where you can find stock footage for free without paying for it, such as pixabay.com or Pexels. I could go ahead and perform a similar search and I'm sure I will find a bunch of relevant pictures and videos. But there is a drawback when it comes to these free alternatives. If you go too specific with your search, you will not find any results. Let me show you an example. Let's say that I wanted to search for a kangaroo boxer. Now, that's a pretty random search, isn't it? And as you might expect, we cannot really get any relevant results. This is the only one that shows up. In comparison, if I complete that same exact search on iStock Photo or Shutterstock, well, here's what happens. Take a look at this, 295 relevant search results. And this is precisely what I searched for, isn't it? And the same thing is true on Shutterstock. Over 300 relevant pictures. Now, guys, the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to understand that people are actually paying for the Shutterstock or iStock Photo subscriptions because they need to. There are a lot of content creators or advertising agencies, marketing agencies that need to make use of royalty-free pictures or copyright-free videos. But here's where the earning opportunity lies. Once again, these platforms are making a lot of money from monthly subscriptions, and this is dependable recurring revenue that they receive month after month. But instead of just keeping the whole cash for themselves, they're actually rewarding their contributors. In order for these websites to have thousands upon thousands of pictures for every search topic that you can come up with, they need to have a bunch of contributors. And these are regular people like you and me who upload their pictures onto iStock Photo and Shutterstock. And the thing about it is that anyone can apply and become a contributor on these websites. You don't necessarily have to be a professional photographer. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars in expensive equipment. You don't need a professional camera or you don't even have to be a talented illustrator because there are all sorts of pictures and videos you can upload. And to be honest, even if you take a picture with your mobile phone, you can still sell it here. I mean, you can tell this one wasn't taken with a professional camera. It's not the best quality. So let me break it down for you. What you want to do is head over to Shutterstock and sign up as a contributor instead. In order to do that, you want to scroll down to the very bottom of their page and click on sell your content that will send you straight over to the sign up form that you can fill out and it will also give you a breakdown of how the process works so let's take a look at this first off you get to create high quality images and videos for their customers to download then you get to upload your content with your easy to use platform and here's the thing ultimately you get to make money whenever your content is downloaded and of course you can refer even more of your friends bring them over to the website and get some commissions but that is just an additional income stream for now let's focus on becoming 
becoming a contributor because that's the main source of income you can set up. And by the way, guys, just in case you thought this was some sort of very small gig that only a handful of people are doing, well, that's not true. The website has actually paid out over $1 billion to their users so far over the last 15 years. So not only have they been in the business for over 15 years, which is a long time, but they have paid out over $1 billion, which is insane if you think about it. And there is more to it than that. Again, you can do the very same thing on iStockphoto.com. It's a very similar website, so it's also got a contributor feature that allows you to submit photos and get paid for that. But what's even more impressive is that you don't necessarily have to sell pictures that you take with your mobile phone. You can also sell illustrations. Let me show you an example. Let's say that I was searching for some student illustration, right? Well, guys, there you have it. 1,052 different results. All of these are regular illustrations uploaded by artists or regular people that match our search term. And it goes even beyond that. I can even search for some sort of invitation. Let's say I wanted to get a party invitation. I can type that in, hit enter, and believe it or not, I will find a bunch of relevant search results, over 1,000 of them. And that just goes to show that you don't necessarily need to be a photographer to make this work, to become a contributor on iStock Photo or Shutterstock. You can still make money with stock footage, uploading stock footage on these websites, even if you're not passionate about photography whatsoever. And that is by creating digital templates. And that's what I want you to focus on. What you can do, and this is literally a shortcut, is that you can connect to canva.com and search for the same thing. Let's say you wanted to sell party invitations, right? I can copy that search term, paste it into the Canva search box and hit enter. What's going to happen is that Canva will provide us with thousands of editable templates, over 6,000 of them. So you can just click on one of them, then make a bunch of changes and eventually upload it onto Shutterstock.com. And I'm 110% sure that is how a lot of these sellers have created their invitation templates. They have probably used some pre-done templates such as the ones provided by Canva, and they just made a bunch of changes. So you can genuinely model that and implement a very similar process. This is the easy path. Now, truthfully speaking, this may not be the most profitable one. At the end of the day, here's what I think is going to bring you the most revenue. What you want to do is focus on very specific keywords. You want to capture very special moments that not a lot of other people have captured. For instance, you can just capture meaningful moments of people's lives, such as unboxing a birthday present or their graduation, which I'm sure people will search for. And if you can capture such moments, if your pictures can express as much emotion as this one, I'm sure you're going to do a great job as a contributor on Shutterstock or any other stock footage website. But guys, if you're still watching this video, even at this point, here's a bonus for you. One thing you got to keep in mind is that not all of these websites will pay you equally. Some of them will pay way more than others. And here's a complete breakdown. As you can see, Shutterstock is not necessarily the most generous one and neither is iStock Photo. These are some of the more popular options, but they are not not the most profitable ones. Instead, what you may want to do is connect to PhotoCase, Alamy, or Stocksy. This one seems to be the most profitable options. When it comes to Stocksy in particular, what you want to do is connect to their website and then click on contribute. That's what you want to do. You want to contribute with stock footage, right? And this is where you can get fair pay as part of the creative community, changing the face of visual media. Now, that is quite a mouthful. All in all, you're doing the same thing. You're uploading high quality pictures that you can take even with your mobile phone and getting paid whenever they get downloaded. And as you can see, the difference here is significant. You're earning significantly more than on Shutterstock or iStock Photos. So I'm going to let you guys explore these options on your own. We've got everything it takes to make it work. So hopefully at this point, you do understand how stock footage works and how you can make money by uploading it on different websites. That's it for now. And thanks for watching.